Hey guys, welcome back to Radical Investors, where we talk about stocks, crypto, NFTs, and all ways how to get to the money. I'm Hamed, and today we are going to be talking about Terra Luna's new proposal, which I think will really benefit our community. So just to start off, let's take a look at the at uh, Luna Classics price. It's currently up about 6% for the 24-hour clock. Um, there's been a lot of volatility over the last few days, just with a lot of different information that's come out, especially with Do Kwan. There's been a lot of additional information of funds he may have been taking in additional to the 80 million, which was already talked about previously. Um, it's currently ranked on coin market cap as uh, 215 so it's still in the mix guys um, let's go into the proposal now this proposal just came out today and guys i think this proposal is a major proposal that could potentially benefit this community tremendously let's just go over it so the proposal aims to create a fair distribution model by allocating 50 percent that's right guys not 1.2%, but 50% transactional fees to the community pool, which in addition to would be also increasing uh, proposal and validators rewards. So let's go into the details of this uh, breakdown. So the proposal looks to allocate 15% to validators, right? And proposals of the block, 35% to existing delegators and 50% to the community. Now, the breakdown of that 15, 50% is very important. They, this proposal suggests more than 35% of that 50% to be used, burned on a monthly basis via a community pool. Now, this single line item is very important. We've talked about previously a 1.2% burn. This proposal is suggesting more than 35%. And that is something that I think would actually benefit the lunatics because it gets us to a reduced supply a lot faster. Major deal, major deal, if we're looking at that on a monthly basis. Let's go to the next line item. So 10% is going to be earmarked for the Terra Classic ecosystem for developers as airdrops on a monthly basis. This is also great because now we are going to provide incentives for developers to continue to go back to the Terra Luna Classic system and to build on this platform and develop these dApps that can benefit the community in general. And then you have another 5% that's going to be retained for community, for the community pool for core Terra Classic development. So for the actual infrastructure of Terra Luna Classic. So let's just go down. Great proposal. Um, let's just go into the details on how this benefits everybody. So one thing to point out about um, Terra Luna Classic, which might not be known to the community, but it's the majority of holders of Terra Luna Classic are actually not staking. So they're really, the, the, the benefits of staking is not actually really being utilized by the majority of the holders, right? They're non-stakers. So by burning 35% of the transactional fee, fees, we will help Terra Luna Classic and UST with their supply issues and turn this into more of a deflationary economy. And this will be a better store of value for Terra Luna Classic as a coin on its own. This is major. Also, with this proposal, we're, umpy, we're upping the rewards for validators to help get these things passed, right? So whereas before um, there was a 5% proposal for validators, we're looking to increase that to 15%. Also, developers also benefit. So this proposal is, is, is actually well written and it's a proposal where it's a win-win-win for everybody. And it's really representative of what the community of Terra Luna Classic is, right? It is, it is facts that 99.9% .9 of Terra Luna Classic holders are actually not staking. So this is just something to point out, guys. Um, 
let us know. Let us know what your thoughts are down below. Um, just wanted to provide you guys with this uh, breaking news update on the new proposal. Do you think this is something that will benefit the community? Do you think it wouldn't? Um, I've talked, we've talked on several instances that we also think we need to really get this proposal out to remove Do Kwan from Terra Luna Classic, from just everything completely because he is just being bringing continual bad press and he's really revealing himself over all of this information that continues to come out about him. So that's all I have for you guys today. If you guys are loving this channel, make sure to bless the subscribe button and the like button. And like always, stay hungry and we'll catch you on the next one.